Hi guys! This is my tutorial for a glittered Christmas lights tumbler. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler using Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte and White. Using an old Cricut Silver pen that I had on hand, I'm mapping out where my bulbs will be. This will not in any way be exact, it just gives me an idea of where to put my glitter later. idea of where our bulbs will be placed, it's time to glitter our tumbler. We'll be doing the epoxy method today, and since we'll be using several colors, I used a bit more epoxy than normal, about five to seven and a half milliliters. When I glittered my bulbs, I wasn't very exact. I just tried to make my spots at least one, one and a half inches wide. Later on, we'll come back with some filler glitter. So if our spots aren't big enough, the filler glitter will hide that. This next color is Whoville from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is the filler glitter I chose for this tumbler. It's a nice mix of all the Christmas colors and is the perfect background glitter for this cup. Later, when we add our bulbs, if we have a spot that doesn't have enough glitter, this filler color will fill it in nicely. This cup is definitely not much to look at now, but the end result is going to be so pretty. When you're finished glittering your tumbler, pull the tape, let cure, then epoxy till smooth. For the decals, I used a PNG format for my files. If you would like to use the same files for your Tumblr, I'll have a link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. For the outline, I wanted to only outline the bottom bulb and leave the top part full. I clicked on Contour and Design Space and removed the inner portion of the top so it would fill in and no longer be an outline. For the peekaboo portion, I decided to only have the bottom of the bulb be the peekaboo, so I clicked on contour again and removed the tops from the bulbs. When you're finished cutting out your decals, it's time to add them to your tumbler. Make sure your tumbler is nice and smooth before you add your decals. I use a palm sander and I use the 1000 grit sanding disc.
Hi guys, this is Vanessa, the voice behind the disembodied hands in the tutorials. I just wanted to pop on and if you guys possibly noticed in the previous scene when the cups were spinning on my turner, the silver was a little jacked up. Um, see what had happened was is that as many tumbler makers do, before something is completely dry, I touched the silver paint and I messed it up. I actually ended up keeping the effect on one of the cups because I thought it looked kind of cool. I actually make two cups when I'm doing my tutorials just so I can take photos of them. So one of the cups I left with the messed up paint, well, messed up paint because I actually kind of like the look of it, so I left it alone. But with the other cup, I decided to fix it and show you how you can fix a peekaboo tumbler without scrapping the whole tumbler, throwing it away, burning it in F and G because ah! here is the cups that are completely dry. I just wanted to show you what happened. You see the striation in the silver glitter? Yeah, that's from touching the tumbler before it was completely dry. Don't do that. So if you're working on a peekaboo tumbler with a pretty easy design to lay over again, and you already epoxied the previous layer and you've, that you messed the paint up on, this is a good way to fix your tumbler without having to start over, without having to scrap your paint or scrap your tumbler because you messed up the paint. If you have a tumbler design like this one with a pretty big peekaboo that you can cover up, you can do this easily. If you have a little bit more of an intricate peekaboo design, you, it may be a little harder to do, not impossible, but it may be harder to do. But in any case, this is just one of my tips that you can do so you don't have to scrap your tumbler and start over if you're doing a peekaboo design. Okay, fixing this peekaboo design. Using the decals we originally used on the tumbler, place them on the tumbler covering the original peekaboo design. Try to get as close as you can. I only covered the top and bottom bulbs since I only needed to fix the silver paint on this one. Any overspray from the silver in the middle, will it'll blend in with the design so I didn't really yeah, I didn't really worry too much about that. Now that our tumbler is fixed, it's time to add our lines. I used a black Posca paint pen with a 0.7 millimeter tip. I love how whimsical the thin line looks, and I really, really, really wanted to film how I drew the lines, but because I hunched over my cup in my lap, and I, I literally look like Gollum on LOTR, I couldn't really film that portion, but I did leave a small portion at the top unfinished just so you can see how nice and opaque this pen is. I love that I don't have to go over the lines twice because of a streaky paint pen.
this next layer, I only wanted to apply a super thin coat of epoxy. I use CC DIY Artist Resin Medium Viscosity because it's a thinner resin. It's perfect for when you only need a thin coat. For the outline itself, I wanted to use a white vinyl, so I used the vinyl cut setting. For the decal, I used a rainbow sparkle vinyl and used a holographic sparkle vinyl cut setting. I really wanted a whimsical font to match my whimsical lines, but it had some really intricate parts and with like these really super skinny lines. To combat this, I used a technique called reverse weeding. I put the transfer tape over the whole decal, peeled off the backing, then removed the vinyl from the transfer tape itself. This method will save your sanity if you ever have a decal with intricate pieces. coat of epoxy I wanted to add a touch more sparkle so I added Cullen to my last coat. You can totally skip this step but I love how it gives your tumbler that perfect amount of shimmer. After this last coat you're all done. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you have fun making your tumblers and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!